This video looks at drawing a cumulative frequency graph and then answers a question linked to the graph itself. Now, to work out the cumulative frequency, we do a running total of the actual frequency. So we have a 2, then 2 plus 3 is 5, 20 plus 5 is 25, add on 60 and we get to 41, and add on 9, we get to 50. And it's this here which we plot on our graph. And to do this, we look at the endpoint of each of the classes. So the data starts at 50, so I put a dot at 50. And there are two people who scored less than 60. So I go to 60 and find the frequency of 2, which is here. Then five people scored less than 70, so 70 is five people. 25 people scored less than 80, so I find 80 and then find 25. 41 people scored less than 90, so I go up to 41. And then 50 people scored less than 100, so I go up to 50, which is up here. So there are my dots for the graph. I then join these with a straight line between each of the pairs of dots, like so. In the exam, of course, you would use pencil. I'm using ink to make the graph clearer for the video. So there we go, we've drawn the graph. Now the question asks, how many students scored between 72 and 85? Now to do this, we'll find out where 72 is on the x-axis and draw a line up the y scale. And this graph shows us therefore that there were nine students who scored less than 72. So nine students scored less than 72. If I then go up from 85 instead up to the graph, then this goes up to here. It's important to draw this in the exam as well, nice and clearly, these lines. And across to the y-axis. Then this graph shows me that 33 students were less than 85. So the number of students who scored between 72 and 85 is 33, take away 9, which is 24. So 24 students scored between 72 and 85 on this test.